Last year around this time, there was a slowdown, and I was assuming because the Berkshire Hathaway purchase of Pilot Corp completed, they were doing an assessment of the project and trying to determine path forward. But this year we see the same thing, so apparently it's a cyclical slowdown that we should probably expect every year. But let's go ahead and get into the update. And before we do, <coughs> I'd like to go over viewer submitted media. It's kind of been accumulating. I've been busy towards the end of December, didn't have a chance to kind of fit it in uh, to an episode. It would have been a little too long, but since it's kind of slow, I'm going to go do so now. This is Tulsa, Oklahoma. A viewer by the name of Alan submitted this. It's the last station in the state of Oklahoma on the first 200 uh, coming soon map to be completed. Here's another view of it coming from the other side. I'm not sure if this is a canopy site yet. It kind of looks like it's up against the curb, but it might be a canopy. We'll see because there's it looks like they're pulling the chargers away from the curb and uh, that usually indicates canopy, but um, we'll see as that progresses. This is Orange, Texas. A viewer by the name of Chris Bradley. His son's F-150 is right here and he took a picture of it. Really nice looking canopy location in uh, Interstate 10 on the eastern portion of Texas. Nice looking picture. This is me going to a uh, construction site visit for the Waynesville uh, pilot station that as has been known to be under construction, but I was cruising through Asheville and I just extended it a little bit to see what was going on here. But if you see all these red circles, that's Interstate 40. Uh, where it's closed and impassable. And so just a few exits before when Interstate 40 basically stops being a traversable road is where the pilot is. According to the North Carolina Department of Transportation, this should be somewhat open by summertime, we're guessing. We're not quite sure, but when it does, it looks like the station here will be open and I'll show what it looked like when I went. Uh, this is where the transformer will go. And that little gully in the back is a problematic extension of the Pigeon Forge River that was so uh, much of a terror during the storm. This is the plaza work, as you can see. The construction uh, is mostly done for the uh, concrete work. The dispensers are in place. And so everything's very hilly in Western North Carolina. So the fact that they were able to level out the land is really saying something. And that stupid, dumb, uh, building in the background. I don't think it's pilot property, which is why it remains. They probably would have torn that thing down long ago, but it sits there mocking them. has been ever since I've been going to this spot, but as you can see, pretty level. This here, an end user whose first name is Wade, took pictures. It's a canopy style called EX, and there's a new example of this just recently spotted, and I'll get to that in just a second. This is Springfield, Missouri. And he submitted us these pictures just showing what it looks like when they extend the gas canopy and put in EV chargers. And uh, this is really nice not only for people who are in EVs, but just think of the people who are over here in the gas pumps. You know, they're pumping gas and they look over and they see the EV chargers. And they're like, wow, I guess that's a thing. So it's kind of like a subtle form of advertising for electric vehicle adoption. But it's also a great convenience for people pulling in with EVs because you're right next to the convenience store. Just being treated like a normal person. Who would have thunk? I think that's a Model 3. It's a little hard because his um, camera, I think, is on a different lens, but I think that's a Model 3. Nice looking car. I like white for, model, uh, for Teslas. It's a nice color for him. I know at one point that was the de facto color, but even still, I kind of like the white. Okay, let's get into the update. I mentioned the canopy styles, and this is the EX down here, which is the extension of the gas canopy. You also have a new style called who knows what here spotted in Walton, Kentucky, but all the other ones were previously identified with type letters, uh, diamond shapes and square shapes and rectangle shapes and extensions. But here's the one that is duly spotted to be an extension in New Milford, Pennsylvania. It's only the second time that we've seen this extension of the gas canopy, which to me is surprising. I would have thought we would have seen a lot more of these. Uh, it seems like the easiest thing to do is just extend the gas canopy, put in a couple of extra stalls for electric vehicle chargers, and you're done. But they always seem to detach them, and I'm not quite sure the reasoning for that. This is what it looks like over time, and as you can see, right at January 1st, 2024, we leveled out. And here we are January 1st, 2025, and similarly leveling out. 
and then they pitter-patter throughout the spring and middle of the summer before they start getting their act together in the fall, and then when they're staring down a deadline in December, they go hog wild and start opening stations. So I'm guessing we're going to see the same thing this year. I'm not quite sure, but uh, we're still seeing the, uh, the plateauing in January as we did last year. This is what the map looks like for the first 200, and it says by 2024, obviously we're in 2025, so it hasn't been completed, but even after they finish the first 200, which they will by all accounts uh, this year, uh, there's 300 more after this. So basically this times two is what we're looking at. This is what the map looks like now, and states that are completed, Alabama, oh, Idaho, Nevada, Washington, Wisconsin are all done. And as you can see, the one in Tulsa, Oklahoma, once that completes, Oklahoma will fall in that category as well. And the state of Texas is doing really good, even though it's such an enormous state. I would imagine they're going to be in this category pretty soon as well, just because you see all these red X's. There's a couple of blue ones that haven't been spotted yet, but there's not many. I would say by the middle of summer, they have a chance for being completely done. And that's really saying something for the state of Texas. I mean, it's the size of some countries, so... That's pretty significant. And also Illinois is starting to uh, get its act together as well and might very well be in the category. And um, Missouri also only has one more because this one here is about under construction. You'll see on the next map I should have done that. But let me just quickly talk about the construction because here in Oakland, Oregon, there's a canopy in place. It looks beautiful. Check out the slide deck at the end of this update to see what that picture looks like. And also all these ones in... New Mexico are seeing progress made. So this is not like they hit January 1st and everyone walked away. They're just not opening stations. There's the same level of construction going on. In fact, I'm sure lots of these other ones are soon to be spotted under construction as well. Um, so check out the slide deck at the end of this because you'll see that all these ones in New Mexico are uh, seeing progress made and the Tulsa one obviously. And um, this is what it looks like new this update. And this is the one in Missouri spotted under construction. We don't have any pictures yet, but Hobstadt, Indiana, right here in the southern portion, kind of in the southern uh, spike of Indiana, in a very underserved area of the country, has got a brand new canopy station open and available at a travel center with all the amenities and conveniences that one could want. So that's definitely good news to hear. In table form, in the central time zone, Kearney, Missouri, north of Kansas City, spotted under construction. Last time I did an update, I wasn't able to touch the price because the EVgo app seems to sh be showing all stations, not only Pilot Flying J, but all stations as a zero price. And so something's buggy there, and I wasn't able to grab the price. But Pilot updated their pricing on their app, so I was able to, after they got back from the holidays it looked like it took them a while to update it but they finally did and the average price is incredibly stable now we're seeing very little variability in the price it's 56.6 cents per kilowatt hour across an average for the entire network the highest prices remain at 69 cents per kilowatt hour the lowest prices remain at 45 cents per kilowatt hour we have 132 stations open, 29 spotted under construction in the central time zone. That equates to 56 open, 10 spotted under construction, 62 open, 9 spotted under construction in the eastern time zone. The mountain time zone has 10 open, 6 spotted under construction, and the Pacific time zone has 4 and 4. Texas still is the state with the most stations, both open and spotted under construction, and Interstate 40 remains as the interstate uh, going east-west uh, with the most stations both open and spotted under, under construction 75 is north south with 13 so we will have a bit of a crisscross going and there's multiple uh, interstates starting to creep up here in the numbers list missouri and oklahoma both ticked up one so they're both at seven now and that's the update for this time i'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that i mentioned with all the canopy sites both open and spotted under construction with the updated pictures as well as the full data tables thanks for watching